Hi everybody! Welcome to week 9 of my pregnancy. So excited. Every week I just get more and more excited and a little and little less nervous. So really excited for week 9. Um, today the baby is the size of a grape or a green olive, about a, an inch long. Um, all of the standard body parts are accounted for. Um, this week, the baby's heart starts um, finishes developing and form starts forming the um, into the four chambers, and the valves start forming. Um, the teeth start forming, which is crazy to me that the baby would have teeth this early. I just think that's so cool. The tail is completely gone. The external sex organs are present, but you won't be able to tell still for a few weeks if it's male or female. The eyes are fully formed, but the eyelids are fused shut until like 27 weeks or something like that. Um, she has an earlobe, nose, mouth, nostrils. It's just so cool. It, you know, it's really starting to look like a real baby now. Um, I have an ultrasound tomorrow morning, and I'm expecting to see, like, a little gummy bear, you know, more of a baby-looking thing on the screen than the blob last time. And I will update you guys tomorrow after the ultrasound and um, let you know how it goes and show you pictures and everything. So I kind of have a lot to talk about this week. I'll try to make it quick. I'll try to talk fast. Um... Let's see, let's start with, I guess, um, symptoms and stuff. Um, it's pretty much the same, just that the nausea has kind of increased a little bit. I still don't have, like, I mean, the crazy morning sickness that a lot of women, or most women, I should say, talk about. Um, you know, I'm not vomiting constantly or anything. It, it definitely comes and goes in waves, and it tends to come more in the evenings. Um, than anything and if I'm being completely 100% honest it still makes me a little bit nervous that I'm not super sick it just does because you just hear about it with so many women um, you know the how sick they are I definitely feel blessed to not be puking all the time I mean I really really do I am so grateful because especially with my job it, it just would be really hard to be sick all the time so I'm definitely grateful for that. I just, you know, like I said, this is my vlog, and if I'm being 100% honest, I am a little bit nervous still about it. Um, I am majorly, majorly constipated. I have to take, like, Colace or some other stool softener, um, like, two tablets every, like, eight hours, and I'm still not going, like, very regularly or normally and I don't, I don't know if that's from the um, prenatal vitamins or if it's just pregnancy related or what but um, it's definitely contributing to the bloat um, you know it's causing like some crampiness it's making me uncomfortable um, but that has definitely increased over the past few weeks I'm definitely way more constipated lately than I have been um, still sore, tingly boobs, um, my sense of smell is crazy, I feel like a dog, it is so insane how well I can smell things, it's absolutely insane, I mean I can smell, you know, food and stuff from a mile away and it makes me crave it, or I can smell terrible smells, um, I've had trouble like cuddling with Tom in the mornings because of his morning breath like I just can't normally I could you know get over it but I'm like I'm like get away from me I can't I can't be near you or I'm gonna throw up um still very tired the fatigue is crazy I thought it was letting up a couple days last week I was so excited because I didn't need a nap like Saturday Sunday and Monday I didn't need a nap but it has hit me full force again, um, and I've been napping every day, so wishful thinking. Um, and frequent urination still. Um, and other than that, I, you know, feel the same as always, I guess. Um, 
We opened our Baby Czar reg registry the other day. Um, I actually went with my mom. We went shopping on Saturday night because I got some pretty good Baby Czar Us coupons in the mail. Um, and so I didn't really put too many things on it, just a few things that Tom and I had kind of agreed on um, ahead of time. But, um, you know, I was afraid I was going to jinx it, but I'm starting to get more excited and less nervous. So I said, whatever, I'm here. There's nobody in line, like, I'm going to do it, and I did it, so that's pretty exciting. Um, I had a terrible dream the other night that I had a miscarriage, and it felt so real. I woke up, it was fr um, Friday night into Saturday morning, and I woke up Saturday morning when Tom was leaving for work. He was leaning over to kiss me goodbye, and I had tears streaming down my face in my sleep. And when he woke me up, it felt like it was a weekday and I should be going to work, but I was in bed because I was miscarrying. So because it was a Saturday and I didn't have to work, and he did, it just made it feel all that more real when I woke up. And it was awful. I just, I, I could not shake the horrible feeling for the rest of the weekend. I just, I thought it was a sign that this pregnancy was doomed. Because I don't dream normally when I'm not pregnant. I mean, I may dream, but I don't remember them. I do not remember dreams ever. I don't know if it's that I'm such a light sleeper, I don't sleep well, or if I'm such a heavy sleeper, I don't remember. Whatever the case may be, I don't dream. And I, I guess since I've gotten pregnant, I've had a few kind of vivid dreams that I remember but this was the first bad one. Um, so it just really scared me and really threw me for a loop. <laughs> and that same morning, my <laughs> fetal Doppler that I ordered came in the mail. I ordered the Sonoline B pocket fetal Doppler. Um, and I debated using this because I said, if I can't find the baby's heartbeat, I am going to freak out. And I didn't want to do that. Um, I knew I was like kind of borderline, you know, I was eight weeks ish. I knew it was borderline whether I would hear it or not. I've never used one before. I've never, you know, um, I don't have any children, you know, so I've, I've never been pregnant long enough to use one. So this was all new to me. And so I wasn't sure if I, what I wanted to do, but I was so upset from my dream. I said, you know what? If I hear the baby's heartbeat, it'll reassure me so much. So I did it and I could not find the baby's heartbeat. And I have been using it every day since I try for about 15 minutes every day, morning or night. And I try different ways. I try with a full bladder and a full stomach. I try in an empty stomach, an empty bladder. Um, and I can't find it. Um, I don't know if something's wrong. I don't know if I'm just too early. Um, I don't know if I'm just not doing it right. Um, I did look on YouTube and I found some great videos that were really helpful on where to look and how to look. So those have been really awesome and really helpful. Um, I plan on, you know, if everything's okay with this pregnancy, um, which, you know, I should find out tomorrow, which I, I think it is. I'm just, you know, nervous and being cautious. Um, I will definitely do a review of the Doppler and do a demonstration and everything whenever it is that I find the heartbeat. So um, that will be cool. Um, so yeah, I guess that is everything. Sorry I talked fast. I'm trying to keep these videos not too long. Um, but that's kind of everything that happened this week. We've been really working on the nursery. Maybe I'll do an updated nursery tour this week or tonight or something. Um, we bought some things, we've got a plan, um, so I will show you guys that at some point, but I will show you the belly for now. So here is the nine week belly. You can definitely tell I'm pregnant. I know I'm showing pretty early. I don't know if it's bloat or what it is, but you can definitely tell if everything goes okay with the ultrasound 
tomorrow we're probably going to make the announcement because I just don't want to hide it anymore. It's, it's too difficult to hide now. So I will talk to you guys tomorrow and let you know how the ultrasound went. Thank you for watching. Hope you have a great week. Bye.